At least 60 people including children were killed in an overnight attack on a displaced persons camp on Sunday and Monday this week in Italy province in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Security blamed an armed group known as Kodeko for staging these attacks on innocent civilians. It is considered one of the deadliest groups operating in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo and has been blamed for a number of ethnic killings. We are still continuing on with hunting the, the enemy and uh, together with that uh, protecting protecting those who have come back to their homes that they had uh, abandoned uh, for decades. The spokesperson for Operation Suja, Major Peter Mugisa, has condemned the killings of innocent civilians. He said the joint military operation is focused on implementing the phase three of Operation Suja. Uh, that area that you are talking about is uh, is not in our area of operation. Uh, we haven't yet reached the, uh, where Kodeko is operating, more especially uh, where Kodeko is uh, operating and uh, of recent where they killed a, a number of people. The joint forces haven't yet reached the, those uh, they are where they have a number of uh, insurgencies, a number of terrorists. The third phase also includes ensuring the safety of roadworks on Kasindi, Beni, Butembo, among others. We must be knowing that uh, we opened up the, the, the third axis that is uh, coming from Kasindi uh, to Beni. M- much of the activities have been uh, all about uh, uh, creating our uh, defensive positions, uh, fighting stations and camps where we shall also uh, be those the uh, uh, the machinery and also the the engineers constructing that road between the Beni Butembo. Operation Suja was launched on November 30th, 2021, with the aim of eliminating ADF rebels and restoration of sanity in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Haruna Mutesa Sila, UBC.